Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ali if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So if you are new here, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. Okay, so for today's video, I have for you guys a full face of trying new to me makeup products. Some of these are super new, some of them are not. So for instance, I have the Mean Girl stuff here. I have the LA Girl Tinted Foundation. And then like I just have some other things that I've been wanting to try out. But a lot of this stuff is Mean Girls. Like all of the face products and stuff. And so one of them, only one of them is something that I've already had, which is the Elf Halo Glow Setting Powder because I did have to restock it and then obviously um, I need to use a concealer so but but I have these two oh so anyways we're getting into the makeup now um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really fast because I don't have anything new for brows but before that I have these primers right here and I'm really nervous to try this one that excuse my nails I need to do them they will be done by the end of today but I have these two primers. I have this Essence Primer Poreless Skin Blurring Putty Primer. Now, I thought I might like this one. I wasn't the biggest fan of the e.l.f. putty primer, but in the pictures, this one looked a little more moisturizing that rather than putty-like. So I was excited to try this one, and then I'm nervous to try this one, this Milani BFF SPF primer, because I'm not the biggest fan of the smell of SPF. Like, I literally... There's one spray that Raquel did give me. She gifted me, and it's the Neutrogena, the Neutrogena, um, well, I'm starting to prime with the Milani, the Neutrogena spray one, and I don't mind that one because the smell is intense at first, but it wears off of your face. I feel like I haven't sat down to do, like, a talk-through makeup video in such a long time, but I only have, like, less than an hour, so I need to hurry up. Okay, that one smells a tiny bit like SPF, not very much, so I hope that smell goes away. Now we're going to go ahead and try the Prime Studio by Essence. Uh, yeah, it's more like a silicone primer. It's not so much thick like the primer putties or anything like that, so... No, it's thick. Now that I'm rubbing it in, it's a little thick. She's a little thick. Y'all, it is September 2nd when I am filming this. I decorated yesterday. Let's just not even talk about yesterday. Um, every single photo I had on my iPhone and in my iCloud got deleted. Um, at some point, I had Google Photos up on, on my phone up until November 2020. So November 2020 and further back I have photos from but nothing more recent than November 2020 but luckily I do like to send pictures to like Brian as soon as I take them and like to my family so I was able to recover a lot of it still waiting on a couple of other people to send me some pictures that I've sent them but I've recovered a lot of it I'm feeling much better thank goodness snapchat saves like everything I post to my story and king is hollering <laughs> He hears me filming and he likes to get loud. But thank goodness. And then I had filmed my decorate with me yesterday and that's gone. So I'm so sorry, guys. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, I've looked everywhere for my decorate with me because it was on there yesterday and everything, everything was saving to my iCloud yesterday. So I don't know what happened there. It's not even on my Google photos. So I don't know what happened to that video. So I'm kind of bummed about that. But um, I guess I'll do a vlog and like in the vlog I'll kind of show you. Because I do have the part where I went shopping for fall decor. So I'm holding on to that. But I also like, like I said I just don't have the decorate with me part. Which oh every year. I kid you not. Every single year I try to film a decorate with me. Something freaking happens. And so I don't know. Maybe I'll try again later to try to find that video. But if not, I will, I need a lifestyle video now for next week. So we will figure something out. Oh, I'm going to spray this. This isn't new either. We're going to figure it out, guys. I will show you guys what fall decorations I have. Obviously, these are from last year. And my room, I kept cool toned, like 
gray and like taupe pumpkins and like light blues because I wasn't going to buy a whole new comforter to make it match warm tones. So I kind of worked around the comforter that I already had. But the front of my house is all warm. I actually did a TikTok on it. So I'm glad that I did go ahead and decide to do a TikTok as soon as I finished decorating because what if I hadn't done that TikTok like I wouldn't have anything about my like me decorating okay so now that eyes are prepped brows are done so I chose this eyeshadow palette because I just decluttered a massive big profusion eyeshadow palette so I didn't want to get the yearbook one but when I looked at all of the other um what are these nine pan eyeshadow palettes I was like mm, like 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 the Karen one, the Karen Smith one was just a little too cool tone for me. Wasn't really my vibe. Regina George was just a little bit too pink. And then Katie Heron, like I liked hers, but I was like, I have all those shades and other palettes. So I went with Gretchen Wieners. And she's also my favorite character. I don't know why, but she always has been. So I went with the Gretchen Wieners palette. This is so cute. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually... So I like the way Casey Holmes kind of does her videos. So like she'll do, like she'll show you what she's using and then she'll go in and she'll do her eyeshadow palette, her eyeshadow, her palette. She'll do her eyeshadow and then she'll come back and talk about what she thought about the eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm going to do it that way just because like I said, I don't have a lot of time to talk through it as I'm going. So we're going to do it that way and I'll show you what I'm using and stuff. Okay, so eyeshadow is good. I, act I love Profusion eyeshadows. Like, I feel like Profusion has the best affordable eyeshadow palettes. And I believe that these are like nine bucks, nine, ten bucks. So it's like a dollar in eyeshadow, which is not bad at all. And so I like these. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I use, let's try it right now. I'm actually going to get a flat brush. I'm going to use this flat brush here. And then we're going to spray that shade you can't sit with us and then we're going to pack that onto the lid to see if it adds a little small bubble oh yeah see so if you spray it and on the brush you can definitely get that shade to pop um, so I guess it's just kind of depends on what you're going for I kind of wanted just like, like something simple obviously to match my shirt But I am going I do plan on putting blue on the lower lash line. I just don't know which blue yet <laughs> So now we are gonna go ahead and try a mascara that I personally have never tried before It's not new. I feel like I've kind of tried the new drugstore mascaras one thing I do want to do though is I want to um do like a full face of undone beauty because it's like very my everyday makeup vibe but the mascara i'm trying today is the lash princess curl and volume now i tried the green one like the, the one that had the green on it and i like it it's not bad it's not a bad mascara that one's just super super wet and you have to wait a really long time for it to dry out so oh yeah this one's my jam i already know that this one is my jam yeah, I really, really like that. I'm using lashes today, so I'm not going to build it up crazy, but I already know that I like this mascara. So fingers crossed that it doesn't flake. 
Now the only thing is, I have a lot of lashes here. I have these Ardell Lash ID lashes, so it's like sections of lashes. And then I also have the Mean Girls pack. I think I'm going to use the Mean Girls pack just to stay within theme. And then I'm going to use the Gretchen Wieners one just because we use the Gretchen Wieners palette. And I have the Gretchen Wieners lip kit. I'm telling y'all, she's my favorite character. Character. She's my favorite. Yeah, I guess she's a character. So yeah, we're going to take Gretchen Wieners and apply those. And I'll see you guys when I am done. All right, so we got 10 minutes. Them lashes were a struggle. Now we're going to go ahead and try the LA Girl Skin Tint Foundation. And I'm debating on if I should use a brush. Um, I will definitely try my spongy sponge first. So let's just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And I kind of like these because I like to do this. I do this with um, my Essence Pretty Natural. Oh, and I got the shade Tawny. This side of my face is breaking out so bad and I don't know why. Like, what am I doing different to this side that I'm not doing to this side? Does this have SPF in it? Fragrance free. Sheer to medium coverage. Okay, so I definitely see a difference, but obviously it didn't cover up like these breakouts. Um, I don't need a lot of coverage on my forehead or my chin, so I'm just going to add a wee bit more to my cheeks. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to use a foundation brush. I feel like brushes usually tend to give you more coverage. Oh, that pimple is so ugly. So I definitely can see it building. But I feel like you're going to have to use a lot to build it to medium. I feel like this is more sheer to light. Okay, so yeah, I say now it's medium. But like I said, you have to use a lot of product to get to medium. And I'm pretty sure had I started off with the brush, I wouldn't have had to do that. So now I'm going to go ahead and use uh, conceal my face. It's nothing new, just my Rare Beauty Concealer. And I use this one because, wow, that's a lot of product. And I use this one because I typically like this um, concealer with every foundation that I try. I was like, why not? Why not just go ahead and try it? So one of the things I recently hauled was a backup of my e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. So, but I just wanted to bring it out to show you guys that that was in my recent little haul in my vlog. But we're going to go ahead and I have to take the stopper out of there. Start setting our face. Oh man, I use a brush now. Why did I use my sponge? Okay, so one thing I've actually been loving to do is go in with my cream products after I set. And so this is new. I've been eyeballing this on Ulta's website for a while now and finally bit the bullet now i bought the dark one because in the pictures they all looked super dark so i was like okay they must be lighter than they look in person but nope this one's really deep so this one is in the shade bronze voltage so we're just gonna do it how i do all my other ones and it's i mean it's that color through and through you know sometimes you'll wipe off the first layer layer and it gets lighter but I think we can make this color work for us. It's just really, really deep. I may have to go exchange it because it's like, I feel like the more I dab into it, the color changes. Because look at it right there. This one is not a good one to put over powder. The Milk Makeup and the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer is really good for over makeup. Wow, so I'm just going to sponge and just kind of go over that. Because that's intense okay we got it to work that works that pimple is not playing no games today though okay so now for bronzer and blush i got these like people will not stop raving about these juvia's palace palettes juvia's place palettes so i got vol i got tan in the I got tan in the bronzer and then I got volume two in the blush. So this is what tan looks like and I'm glad that I went with this one. I feel like if I had gotten any shade down, it would have been too light. So we're just gonna mix these two and go over. You know, this right side, this is pigmented, but this right side of my face is just it's not the bee's knees today, like at all. And I don't know how to blend that out. Cause it's just, you know, it's just not the bee's knees today. No, oh, what's so different though? The 
that pimple is just i think that pimple's just throwing everything off of me i don't know okay so now we're going in with the blush volume two so i think i'm gonna go in very light-handed with this shade or let's just mix them okay these are not as intense as the bronzers and i don't want to use too much um of the mean girls collection but we do have this as well we're going to use this for our highlight so this is the you glow again you glow glen cocoa candy gram palette and so this has bronzer blush and highlight and this says i love how it says it says and maybe some for gretchen wieners bye but we're going to go in with secrets right here and i love how like everything i got ended up being like gretchen wieners theme wow that's a really pretty highlighter really pretty so as you know from my inner corner i love to take whatever highlighter i'm using that's a really pretty highlighter i like that highlighter like it's intense but not in like a striking way but like in a glowy way and i really really like that okay so to finish up the lower lash line we're just taking the excess product on the brushes that we used I also bought this eyeshadow palette. I used it in, um, I used it the other day because I knew I wanted to play with the Mean Girls one. And then I used this. They're still on sale for six bucks at Ulta. These BH Cosmetics Truffle Blush Palette. And then I know you are like, I thought she said she was put in blue. I am. I'm getting a more precise brush. And we're going to go in with this one right here just because I feel like it's more muted and matches my shirt better more fall vibes that's cute okay oops wrong spot and now going in with the mascara see how it is for the lowers oh man i just forgot to use these brushes but that's all right we got plenty of videos to use those brushes in let's go ahead and start with the lips i like i said i did get the gretchen wieners um lip kit so i'm just gonna outline with my nyx lip liner in brown okay i'm going into the gretchen wieners who else was obsessed with mean girls and i don't just mean barely came obsessed but like i mean at my high school or middle school we literally had the girls who were like oh on wednesdays we literally y'all like i liked the movie but i never tried to act like the movie there were girls at my school that tried to act like the movie and they're like, well, on Wednesdays we wear pink. And they would literally wear pink like every Wednesday. But they always wore jeans, so. I don't know. Pick and choose your rules, I guess. Just like people do with the Bible. And then we have this Profusion Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this is in the shade Gretchen Wieners. Oh, yeah. That's good. I wish this was full size though like I wish the lip the lip cream was a full size lip product and then I don't really want the gloss right now mm, we're not gonna do the gloss right now but we are going to curl and set with this I did get the spray as well my sister's gonna make me the mirror because the mirror sold out and I don't know if they're bringing it back and my, I'm gonna buy like a pink mirror and she's gonna make the emblem for me and put it on there okay Lashes curled, brows gonna get set. I think this is out, y'all. Oh, there it goes. Had to really get up in there. And brows are set. And last but not least, this is the Regulation Hottie Cooling Face Mist. And so let's see. The smell of this reminds me of another spray. spray does that smell like oh i know do y'all remember when i had that truffle therapy company truffle and company spray and i loved that spray that's what this smells like i'm so glad i remembered all right you guys this is a completed look i actually really liked everything i don't think i was mad at anything the only thing i would say is that you have to use a ton of this to get medium coverage if you use a sponge if you go in with a brush i'm sure you won't need as much product really really like that of course we'll have to see how everything wore throughout the day all of profusion's powders are always super duper blendable i also have always loved their lip products it's super affordable 
um primers i actually really like because i can't smell the spf on my face and my skin looks pretty smooth from the essence one and i don't know i guess we'll just have to see how everything wears you guys i might do a check-in i don't know um but it is currently 10 a.m i have to shoot out the door right now so i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.